Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do our weekly prayer meeting this week, but first I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on in my life and kind of what God just showed me. So we just sold our house like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, something like that. We sold our house, right? So that wasn't an issue. God absolutely just blessed it and he blessed it quickly. And we sold our house in four days after putting it up on the market. Now we're trying to move to Texas and we're trying to find a house out there and it's just been really difficult right like all the bids we're putting in on the houses and everything they just keep uh keep falling through and just different things come up to where we can't end up getting the house and it's just been like one trial after another and there's just been a lot of like stress because we have to be out of our house uh, by june 18th and we still don't have a house lined up so we don't know where we're going i don't know where to transfer to as far as work goes there's just like a lot of stuff that needs to get done and um it just cracks me up because this is a constant pattern in my life, right? Even before I was saved, God would take me to the absolute edge of the cliff, right? To the absolute edge of what I thought that I could bear or when I thought there was going to be no hope left. And then he swoops in and he saves me, right? Every single time he just swoops in. And even before I was saved, he did that. You know, and I think it was to prove that he was real, right? It was to prove that he loved me and it was to show that he loved me. And now after giving my life to him, like I still see that. I still see this pattern of him just taking me to the edge of what I think I can bear and him swooping in to save me, right? He does that because when that happens that way, when it seems completely hopeless, you know it was from God when he saves you, right? When he just gets all the glory from it and our faith increases, so right now, as we're having all these issues finding a house and it's coming up to when we got to be out of our house, I just have such joy and peace because I know that God is going to take care of it. And I know he's going to absolutely blow our minds. And I was reading Hebrews eleven six 6 today, which says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And he rewards those who diligently seek him, right? So without faith, is it impossible to please God, right? You got to think about that. We're saved by faith. So without faith, it's also impossible to please God, right? But when we're praying, right? And when you guys give your prayer requests this week, when you guys pray for other people, pray with faith because without faith, it's impossible to please the Lord, right? It's impossible to please him. So I'm just so full of joy, right? I know that God is going to absolutely blow our minds with what he's about to do. I know that he's going to get so much glory from it. I can't wait to come on here and tell you guys exactly what happened. And I just... I'm just so thankful, you know, that I don't have to worry about any of this stuff because I got a Lord and Savior who loves me and is going to take care of me and promises to never fail me, right? And I can rest and relax in his promises instead of my worries, right, and my anxieties. So I just wanted to hit you guys with that this week. Now, again, just like every week, leave prayer requests in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, we want to pray for you, right? Please pray for us as well, myself and other people in the comment section. Also leave a prayer report, or sorry, not a prayer report. Also leave a praise report, something that God's been doing in your life lately or a prayer that he answered. So that way we can give glory to God and it's encouraging other believers, right? Be specific as you want in your prayer requests and your praise reports, or don't be specific at all. Just say, hey, I need prayer. Or I need prayer for this person, right? God knows what you need prayer for, but we want to lift each other up. We want to come around each other as a community. We want to love on each other and we want to first and foremost, give everything to the Lord, right? Glory, praise, anxieties, requests, all of it, right? Thanksgiving, we want to give all that to the Lord. Okay, I love you guys. Leave those prayer requests in the comment section below. Stay encouraged because without faith, it is impossible to please the Lord. And we'll see you guys next time.